Okay, so we've seen how to read in just general text, but what if my um, my file I want to read from has multiple pieces of information? There are different types. I actually want to use a struct to store them. How do I how do I do that? How do I read that? Because I want to use different kinds of reads for like strings um, versus numeric types and that kind of thing. So I've gone back to this idea. We saw this earlier when we first talked about structs of a product um, that you'd buy in a convenience store. And so my struct for product has a name, a brand, a price, and a SKU. I'm going to show you, I have a, a list of products in a file over here. Um, and so it, it's basically a repeating sequence. So it matches the fields of my struct essentially. So I've got a name of the product, the brand, the price, and the SKU. A name of the product, the brand, a price, and the SKU, right? And so that repeats. Um, so how do I read this in? Because obviously, um, this is a string, this is a string, this is a double, this is a string because it has some letters in it. Like, how do I do that and get them into the right spots in the struct? So this is to show you how to do that. So I have made a vector that is the type of my struct here. Um, so it's a vector of products, I called it prods. Um, it doesn't have anything in it currently, okay? Um, I've got my file opening and testing here. Um, I'm just going to run it once to make sure that it doesn't fail and make sure I've got my file set up correctly. I should get no output basically because it doesn't really do anything yet. Cool, so no errors. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to make this easier to read, I'm gonna make a single product um, to read into. I'm just gonna call it P. Okay, so I've got an individual temporary product holder. I've got this vector, where, which is where I want them to end up. I've got my file open. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the sequence that they are in this file and I'm gonna do a separate read for each of these. I'm gonna let the first one be the one that controls the loop. And then inside the curlies, I will do these separate reads of the other three pieces. Um, this is based on the assumption that this file is correct and the sequence is perfect inside of it. It always goes name, brand, price, SKU. All right. So. I've got that same order listed here so I don't forget. So I'm gonna make my while loop that reads, um, do a get line for the name. Um, it's coming from the in file and it's going into, I'm gonna put it in this temporary products dot name field. All right, so if it successfully reads the name, then I assume that the other pieces are there. So I'm next going to read the brand. So in file p dot brand. And then I'm going to read the price. The price is numeric, so I have to switch to the regular kind of um, read, p.price. And then I have the SKU, which is a string. Um, I would like to read that with a get line again, um, just like when I use CN, if I'm switching from a read that has these brackets to a get line, I need the ignore, except this time it's not on the console, it's not on the CN, it's on the in file. So in file.ignore, so it doesn't jump ahead. And then I will get line in file to p dot sku. All right. So at this point, all four pieces of information are in this one temporary product. I would like to get that product added to my vector. So let's push it on. So prods dot push back. Oops. P. And it should be in there. Um, so let me get down here. Let's just check our uh, vector. Um, prods dot size plus. Let's just do a quick see out of this stuff. So prods sub so I. I'm gonna copy that so I don't have to keep typing it. Dot name space dot brand space dot uh, price space uh, dot sku and L. All right, let's see if that worked to read from my file. Here we go. Tyco, Coca Cola, 199, SKU, Flame Not Cheetos, Frito Lays. Yeah, cool. So that works. So that is how you read multiple things. And then let me not be sloppy. Um, let me close my file at the end here. All right. So that is how I read if my file has multiple different types in it and I need to read them into separate pieces.